Well, it's the big quarterfinal battle of the bridge this coming Friday. And the Auckland coach is one of my favourites. Me and John Campbell have been all over this guy. We've just shown him so much love over the years, and he's been probably pretty embarrassed. But a first time back on this particular programme, Alama, g'day, mate. How are you? <laughs> I am all, I'm embarrassed already now, mate. But uh, thanks, uh, mate. It's, it's good to be uh, on the show. And, yeah. Uh, thanks for being here. Yeah. yeah, look, um, we spoke with Daniel earlier. Um, just uh, about about Felix and that situation seems to have resolved itself in a way that gentlemen resolve things. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, we've uh, we've moved on from that. So um, you know, it's uh, it is what it is, and we'll just uh, we'll just deal with it um, as best as we can. But I think it's resolved, so we uh, we've moved on. So we're pretty much um, fixed on the other stuff. That's uh, pretty. Pretty important this week, Martin. Yeah, over the bridge, mate. Their place. Now you did beat them in the opening round, right? Yeah, no, we did, we did, but that's uh, that's in the past. It's uh, it's knockout stages now, as we all know. So uh, that sort of stuff doesn't matter anymore, right now. All right then. So preparing for this particular game, does it make any difference really who your opponent is, or do you just see it as just another bunch of jerseys in front of you you got to beat? Uh, I think it's a little bit of both. Um, you, you, you always you, you need to know your position a little bit, and, um, and you got to do your homework and. And then also, it's always a balancing act as uh, as how much you go. You know, you take confidence from your last game, and um, as you would have seen, you know, we we <clears throat> we uh, we had a decent performance in the second half against Taranaki that we uh, were pretty proud of, and uh, we just need to build on that. But um, but it's knockout, so everything is uh, starts from scratch in some areas, but um, but other areas we we take momentum into it. So pretty keen to to, to look at it that way. Six wins and four losses. So, it's, you know, as a coach, it's one of those seasons, I bet for you, where you think you're just getting it right and then damn, and then you're just getting it right and then damn. Has it felt a bit like that? Yeah, I think you've summed it up well. I think it's, uh, you know, we've had our frustrations in the past and um, we've had, you know, at times we, we uh, you know, just the certain moments that we uh, just lost concentration and, and it's actually cost us games and, um, in, in other games, we've uh, you know we just managed to put um, some decent perform um, moments together, and then um, and got the result that we wanted. So um, I think last week, uh, certainly in the second half, uh, you know, I was really proud of the coaches um, making the adjustments at half time and, and the players to trust that. Um, so I was, I was really really happy with that, and um, I think uh, that momentum is certainly something that we're we're going to build on this week, man. All three Blues teams, six and four, mate. It's been a dogfight, hasn't it? Yeah, I know. It's been, and, um, and uh, you know, we've all, obviously, we've got the whole, the whole Blues sort of region, um, you know, fighting amongst each other. But I think I think well, the one thing in general, I suppose, is, that they, you know, each team has had some pretty good momentums. And I think, um, you know, Northland, is, you know, George would be pretty proud of the way his team is going and, and obviously Dan and, and their crew, you know, getting that win down in Southland. So I think each team has, um, you know, they're, they're, they've had some really decent wins um, that have really made a statement this year. And then obviously lapses of concentration at times that um, certainly from our side that uh, they've cost us games. But, you know, it's, uh, it's all going to be pretty cool uh, this weekend. When, uh, yeah, man. Everyone. Fight for it. Yeah, I love it. I mean, knockout football, there's nothing like it. Lama Irmia, former All Black Course Auckland coach with us in Auckland North Harbour this Friday night. The old mob Wellington aren't doing too bad either, mate, are we, eh? The old shield and the thing. I mean, I, I knew you would have liked that. Yeah, no, we, uh, we had a course earlier in the year, and, um, and Leo was, uh, he was really t- you know, targeting that, uh, that, that shield game, I think. You know, and from there, they've really picked up the momentum and and are going into finals uh, weekend as well. You know, they've, uh, they've got some good momentum going mm. into it as well. So, um, yeah, really proud of them as well. And uh, they've got a young coaching crew coming through as well. So it's great to see those guys, um, you know, um, uh, win some games. And, and obviously, the, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, another big one for them against Hawks Bay. I was trying to figure, were you, did you play that game in 2000 when we finally won it after 150 years, or whatever it was, 25 years or something? Did you yeah. play? Yeah. <laughs> I knew I knew you'd ask me that. Yeah, because, great. Um, yeah, my son's uh, brought it up. It was uh, it was my last game for uh, Wellington, and it was the last game in New Zealand before I went to Japan. And uh, unfortunately, that was the last game to get that Wellington won the championship uh, mm. in DC. So it's been 22 years ago. So it's been a long time. They almost did it a few years ago. So I was hoping they could, but uh, obviously Tasman got up. 
Now, look, I know... But, uh, but yeah, they've got good momentum. I hope you don't groan when I ask you this, but I've got to ask you about Roger because everyone wants to know about Roger and, of course, you playing in the centres as well. I mean, you get an expert eye on this. You know what he's training like. You know what his potential is and all of that kind of stuff. What are your thoughts on him? How good is he? Uh, oh, I think... Yeah, I think he's. I think he's a very good athlete. He's a very good uh, professional, and uh, he certainly um, put his hand up in our games for us. And I think the, the most important, if I can make a comment on it, the most important thing for me, uh, Martin, is that he actually gets some games, um, you know, in, in a series of games, so that he can actually keep growing. I mean, it's very difficult because he's missed a year of it, and. Uh, you know, and he's had his momentum in the in the Blues, and then obviously he's been in and out of the All Black scene. But um, for us, it's really important that he actually plays. Whether he plays in the midfield or the wing, um, I think it's just important that he actually plays because he's got strengths that um, that you can utilise in different ways. But for us, it's it's important that he 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 just he just comes in place. Like yep. he doesn't have to think too much about the game. He you know he just gets in there and and shows his skill sets. You know, if he misses. Um, bits and pieces here, but you know he's got a lot more to offer. And what I was really proud of his game last week is that he's very accurate in the role that he had. You know, he uh, he carried strong. He didn't make many mistakes. And although the conditions were terrible, he uh, he certainly was quite accurate. And, and that's part of his development. And I think that's uh, that's important for him. So yeah, we uh, we'll take anybody that um, that can that the rule boats can release for us. And and I think just for Roger, it's important that he just gets out there and enjoys himself and and plays to his strengths, you know. He's just still learning, and that's the one thing that we, we've got to remember. And tell you what, that gives me that gives more clarity out of that answer than anyone else that I've ever asked that question to so far this rugby season. That's great. Because what it says to me is, it says to me that thing about you can train as much as you like, you can gym as much as you like, but it's not playing, is it? That's what, it, you know, playing is yeah. playing. Yeah, that is, that's correct. And, you know, we've all seen it. He's made mistakes, and that's fine, but... You know, it's uh, the more he, he plays, you know, the, the more he'll get used to that. So um, that's what's really important. Um, unfortunately, he's always under the microscope, but yeah, I just think it's important that he gets out there and he enjoys his rugby, and, and we're there to support him, and no matter what. So um, that that's important from our team's perspective, certainly from the Auckland side. So you go into this game with the, you know, there's there's no second chances. That's it. The whole season rides on this game. So you don't look, you're not looking any further ahead. This is it. This is your grand final this weekend until you get another hopefully chance at a grand final. Yeah, we we started our finals last week. To be honest, Martin, we uh, we had the, our final started with Taranaki, and it was do or die, and that's the way we approached it last week. And this is another week, so obviously these are the real finals in terms of quarters and, and onwards. But yeah, we have to. Uh, you just can't afford to, to, to lose track of that. So we'll just focus on this game and, and take it from there. Okay, finally, we got Friday night with you. And then, of course, you know, last we heard, there's well over 30,000 tickets sold for the three opening games of the Women's World Cup at Eden Park. Cool, eh? Yeah, it's awesome. It's really great. And, um, yeah, I'd love to obviously uh, get our game um, sorted. But, you know, if it's an opportunity to go and watch uh, those those games and obviously support uh, the teams, that'll be awesome. But, uh, yeah, it's awesome for... Awesome for women's rugby, and, and I think it's a great showcase for New Zealand as a whole, and especially Eden Park. Always love talking to you, mate. Thanks so much for coming on the program. Thank you. Uh, it's always a pleasure. It's been a long time, but uh, it's nice yeah, to chat again, buddy. Cool, mate. See ya. Lama <laughs> Iremia with us, former All Black and Auckland coach.